Hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Here we are in yesterday's daily challenge location and Yesterday you might have noticed that I uh, spent the entire daily challenge uh, circling around in a circle. It's mostly because I didn't want uh, attention to be drawn on any specific words because there are a lot of clues uh, to show where exactly we are and you guys might have been able to read some. It took me a little bit uh, to actually see them my first time around. First one right over here, it literally says Dubai. I mean, I guess the first clue was Fly Emirates, but that could be anywhere. You know, there's a lot of, uh, you know, stock, soccer stadiums are sponsored by Fly Emirates, which is uh, which is the big one, which is like Emirates Stadium. There's, there's, one, there's one that's... Uh, I think it's in the UK, and I think it's either Manchester United or Arsenal, or maybe it's uh, the 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 other one in London, the other stadium in London. Anyways, some sort of stadium. I'm not really sure which one is Emirates Stadium. It's it's a, it's a really big one, if I if I'm not mistaken. Or you know, hell, it could freaking be Barcelona for all I know. I don't really know where that stadium is, uh, but uh, I in my mind it's in the UK. But that's originally what I thought this was, you know, snack bar, uh, you can look around, you see this, but really we're in Dubai, it says it over here, and uh, there are a little bit of clues uh, that, that can indicate uh, that, uh, perhaps it's an explanation of why this swimming pool, we find uh, mostly men, and uh, the, 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 the one woman we can find here appears to be uh, dressed in, in this manner, although, uh, to be honest, you know, from what I would, I mean, you know, Dubai, it's Dubai, right? Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty, you know, as far as uh, regions uh, in that part of the world are concerned, Dubai is a pretty damn progressive place. I just, yeah, you know, I guess I just wasn't expecting to see it look quite like this, to be honest. And that's really awesome. That's very, very cool. Uh, we also got some, you know, if we weren't so convinced it wasn't in Dubai, here you go. We got some Arabic uh, written on this sign over here. Most of it's in English. Man. This looks just like, I mean, it doesn't really look like anywhere around here where I live, but it looks like, you know, this could be, this could be like an L.A. or something, right? This isn't too different from something you could imagine seeing in L.A. or in other places in, in the world. So, there you go. Um, very, very awesome, although I think if we were in L.A., uh, a swimming pool uh, that is filled with uh, this sort of clientele, uh, would perhaps be uh, uh, this. This might be an entirely different kind of establishment, and uh, I don't know if that kind of thing is something that goes on uh, here. You never know. I mean, Dubai is apparently, looking at it, a relatively and surprisingly pretty darn progressive place. Looks pretty darn cool. And uh, there you go, fun place. So I guess we're in Dubai. That's awesome. There you go. Where are we? We are in. Dubai, uh, probably around, like, this area. This is where all the stuff happens, right? Dubai Sports City? Sure, why not? We're at Dubai Sports City. Let's make the guess, and the answer is... Uh, pretty far, actually, but we're actually over here in Dubai Camel Racing Club. Oh, that is... That is badass. The Seven Stadium, okay. It actually says it right over there. That is awesome. 49.18. Very, very cool. Now on to today's Daily Challenge. Alrighty, here we are in today's Daily Challenge location. A really, really cool spot indeed. I mean, just check this place out. We're out uh, out by the sea somewhere. Got an awesome boat somewhere over here in the, well, not somewhere, right over here in the distance. And it looks like some people are just, uh, you know, having some fun, perhaps learning how to scuba dive and or snorkel. Um, or, you know, probably both, to be honest. And that looks like that could be a lot of fun. I mean, I remember um, yesterday, no, nah, not yesterday, a few days ago at this point, uh, we did an episode where uh, we were down on a, a sunken ship. And I was like, oh, man, be cool to uh, scuba dive. I, I'd, I'd be down to try. I'd be down to try it in a maybe a situation like this a little bit more um, because, I mean, we're not, it's not even that deep. You know, this looks like maybe a little something a little bit more accessible. Um, so yeah, it looks like, looks like this place is a lot of fun. So, this is the daily challenge, and that means it's up to you guys to tell me where in the world do you think this is? Put your guesses down in the comment section below, and tell me where in the world do you think we can find this place in tomorrow's video, much like uh, the section you guys just saw. I'm gonna make a guess as to where I think it is. Um, pretty much this location, I... I don't really know, to be honest. I, I don't. I don't really know where I'm gonna guess. And the name down here in the bottom right-hand corner that you guys can't even see. It doesn't help me. It doesn't help me to to know where where this location is at all. So, 
honestly, this is going to be uh, a little bit of a crapshoot, but that is totally fine. If you guys have any idea, put it down in the comment section below and tell me. And if you're the person that guesses closest, in tomorrow's video's comment section, I'm going to announce you as uh, the winner. You don't win a prize, but you do win the glory. And you'll be that day's top geo guesser. So, where in the world do you think we are right now? Alrighty, well, here we are in the main section of today's video. And today we are going to be doing a viewer challenge, one by none other than everybody's favorite uh, Dutch friend it is nyo117 and i'm very sorry to uh, uh i think I, th I think the julian are you also from the netherlands I, I believe you are but anyways um i'm very sorry you're also everyone's favorite a and anyone else who's watching is from the netherlands as well is everyone else's favorite dutch friend my god that became very convoluted at that point anyways nyo117 thank you so much for this challenge so i'm going to be pasting in this awesome link right over here which is the challenge that you've sent in if you are interested in sending a challenge and please do because uh you know i'm not running out but uh, i really would love more to put in my reserves to make sure that uh, this series can keep going into what feels like it's probably going to end up going into eternity it's probably going to be an episode 3000 i mean you should probably get to 300 before i think about 3000 but um wouldn't that be fucking wild my god 3000 episodes but that's i mean that'd be like 10 years so you know Let's not let's not think that far. And if I still if I'm st if if I'm still making videos like this in ten years, then well, then something I don't know I don't know what to say about that. But anyways, hopefully at least it'll be better quality by then somehow. Um, but there you go. So if you want to send a challenge in, you can go to geosetter.com, G-E-O-S-E-T-T-R.com, create your own custom challenge, and uh, you can send it in to me using the YouTube inbox system. Uh, that way, instead of putting it as a comment in one of the videos, uh, because that sometimes get flagged of spam, well, you can send it in as a... Uh, as uh, the YouTube inbox system, which really sucks. I mean, the YouTube inbox system isn't very good. It's very hard to reply to messages. Uh, not, I mean, I don't usually reply to them for that very reason. Uh, but uh, it is at least serviceable. And there you go. Your name gets to appear right over here. Also, if you don't want me to say your name or anything like that, make sure you tell me. You'd rather remain anonymous, and you can, of course, do that. And if you want to have a theme to the challenge, then uh, that is absolutely great. No theme to this one, though. This one is a themeless. So let's just go and do that, and if you want to find a link to this challenge, click down in the description below, find a link to it, click on it, do the challenge, and come back. But yes, we are always needing more challenges, because there is a viewer challenge every episode now, so great, awesome. Look at this. Well, immediately looking at this place, I immediately think we are in the Netherlands. The reason why, well, I mean, it's already been stated that uh, everyone's good friend, NYO117, is from the Netherlands. Uh, we already know that from many previous challenges before and many posts in the comments. Also, we got the awesome yellow license plate uh, deal going on right now, which is something that we can find in England, in France, and I believe the Netherlands as well. So, there's that. Now, where in the Netherlands are we? Well, we're going to find that out in a little bit. Uh, hopefully. Who knows? Where could we be? Well, maybe we can look on the side of... Ah, okay, look at that. See? There you go. We got a beautiful Dutch flag. That is absolutely fantastic. We got a nice Dutch flag over there. I hope... I mean, I, I really do think it is. Um, it's, you know... It is, uh, but uh, if it's not, then my bad. I, I've been I've been a fool and should be uh, should should be yelled at a little bit for that. That that's definitely something. Anyways, um, it is. I just I just get scared of just uh, calling out flags, especially ones that are uh, you know simple in design, because as it turns out, there are a lot of flags that look very similar, and the simpler they are, the harder they are to tell apart. The thing about flags. Um, yeah, flag conversation. Maybe, uh, maybe having an awesome flag conversation tomorrow? Uh, no, I don't think tomorrow's probably gonna be the day after tomorrow. Now that I think about it. But yeah, flags are cool. Uh, you know, think about it. Canadian flag. I guess, you know, looking at it, I find it, you know, a relatively, uh, boring flag. And in the grand scheme of things, it's actually pretty interesting. Because it's got, like, it's got, like, a design in the middle. It's got, like, a maple leaf, right? And that's, like, that that's something cool. Uh, so, I mean, that, that is, that's at least pretty neat, but, um, 
what was there was there was a much better one that was presented in like uh, the I think it was the the 1960s when they were uh, uh, deciding for a new version of uh, the Canadian flag. One that uh, wasn't because before it was like it was like a red flag uh, where the top left hand corner was the Union Jack. Uh, but, and then it had like some sort of crest or shield or something. And that's still, uh, that sort of, that type of design is, uh, the uh, type of design that's used for the flag of Ontario, Manitoba, yeah, Ontario and Manitoba right now, currently. Uh, but, um, that is not, uh, what is, what is used for Canada. And there's other provinces that used to have a flag like that. Uh, but, uh, anyways, there was a really cool one. I think it was called like the Pearson Pennant. That was a really cool flag because instead of being, uh, instead of the two bars on the side being red, they were blue and they were thinner. So instead of being one third, one third, one third, it was a quarter, a half, a quarter, or something along those lines. And in the middle, instead of being one maple leaf, it was three. And it was still a relatively simple design. I mean, probably still too complicated for uh, children to draw accurately uh, in school because drawing a Canadian flag properly in school is tricky. I mean, there are a lot of much trickier flags to draw in the world than a Canadian flag. But, uh, you know, the, the the Pearson pennant would be pretty much... I think it's what it's called. I think it was called... It was a Pearson something. Um, I think it was pennant is what the name of this flag goes goes by. And it would still... It'd be pretty much just as complicated for kids to draw. At, in school, right? I mean, you know, like uh, like if, if children, if uh, if you know, kids in the U.S. are drawing an American flag, it's pretty darn tough. I'm assuming to draw all 50 stars in the correct place, usually, right? I mean, there's probably it's probably an order, right? I don't really know how many it is. Is it like uh, like eight seven eight seven eight? Oh wait, no, that doesn't work. Um, what would work? Uh, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not gonna try counting it. I think it's. I think it's five or is it six? I don't even know if it's five or six rows of stars. Well, okay, there you go. There's something I should know. Maybe we'll. Maybe we'll find American flag on uh, this journey today. Anyways, I think we spent enough time in uh, this place. Yeah, if you guys want to see what a cooler Canadian flag looks like, Pearson pennant. That is what I think the flag should have been because it would have been pretty awesome looking. But uh, there you go. So where are we? We are in none other than fantastic Rotterdam. Let's go place that right there. Make the guess and the answer. Oh, would you look at that? Gosh, it was just a guess, but we haven't been to Rotterdam too much, and I like guessing it. So uh, there you go. Oh, wow, this location is going to be... Oh, my God, what the... F ah! <laughs> it's an alien. All right, so we've been attacked by some kind of uh, alien, which is fine. Wow, look at that fly. I mean, it's got... There you go. There's a wing right there. There's another one over here. It's got. Uh, it's missing a few legs. It's the butt. There's like the fly little hands. You guys see little fly? Oh yeah. It's wait. Hold on. Yeah. One, two. Okay. Well, whatever. You know how you see flies and they're always like rubbing their hands. It's weird. When I was in elementary school, there was uh, there there was a kid that was there, and whenever he would open his lunch box, he would sort of rub his hands together and like uh, i i really need to do the movement and you guys can't see me right now so you know you're not you're not getting how how freaking weird this was but he would always like rub his hands and lift them close to his face and then rub each of his fingers together with both hands parted one each side of his face and he'd like look at his lunch with big eyes and he'd have this weird grin on his face every time it was so weird but uh there you go Lunch rituals and fly rituals. Everyone, everyone has them. So there you go. What country are we in right now? Well, uh, looking at uh, a lot of stuff, I'm gonna say we're in the Middle East. Where are we in the Middle East? Is a very, very good question. Uh, got a stack of tires just hanging out. Where do I think this is? I think this is going to be. It's a pretty dry place. I don't think it's Iran. I think it's Saudi Arabia, actually. Uh, I think it's Saudi Arabia. And I'm going to go, mm, yeah, Saudi Arabia. We're going to do that. And we're, let's say uh, Medina. Sure, near near Medina. That sounds good to me. Oh, okay. Oh, there you go. Now, now we see it the way I think it is. Uh, let's go and say, like, uh, right there. There you go. Make the guess and the answer. Wow, that's cool. 
because that is a country that we do not see ourselves in very often at all, if uh, this is probably the first time we find ourselves in Mauritania. Wow, that's really cool. Wow, this is like a square-shaped state and or province. That's interesting. Uh, in Nuakchot. Nuakchot. Oh, my God. I don't know if I've ever heard the name of this place either. Wow, okay. There you go. We're learning new things. Well, I am. I don't know about you guys. Uh, but that is really, really cool. There you go. There's a place that we haven't seen at all. Very, very nice. I'm, I always love when we see new places like that. Very, very cool. 1315. Awesome. Where are we now? Well, we find ourselves in Japan, I believe. Looking at the language. Oh, ah, okay. This is Hiroshima. This is a very famous building, I believe. It's not Nagasaki, is it? It's, it's in Hiroshima, I believe. Wow, okay. Well, there you go. There you go, look at that. It's, uh, it's the force of an atomic bomb. I'm guessing, by the look of this, that it probably struck in this direction. Like uh, we're like we're facing the direction that an atomic that the atomic bomb hit. I wonder if there's a marker somewhere somewhere in this uh, in in this city that actually shows. Well, I mean, I think the impact was in the air, right? Yeah, it was in the air. It was like uh, it's like uh, two thousand feet or something in the air. That's how that's how these that's how it works. You detonate a nuclear bomb in the air and it does more destruction, I believe. Wow, I think that's how it works. But yeah. I mean, there you go. That is, that's crazy. We haven't been here before, um, which is which is something. But uh, I forget. I think I, I was it was it the was it the choir group at our school, at uh, the high school that I went to. Uh, actually went to uh, went went here one year. I think they went to Japan one year and they they, they visited this place. I, I know that. I don't remember if it was the choir group or it was another grade or it was something, something else. I didn't go because I wasn't in choir or in whatever grade or group uh, that ended up going. My God, would that have been cool? But uh, but yeah, I mean, just check this place out. It is really sweet. I remember they they went here and then uh, you know they had pictures pictures of that that building uh, right there, uh, which unfortunately I don't know the name of, and I'm sure you know it has a it has a name that I that well I mean obviously it has a name. There you go. We got signs. Oh, okay. Um, rest house tourist information. Uh, okay, uh, a bomb. Okay, atomic bomb. All right, that's what they're calling it. Okay, that's cool. It's not like a nuclear bomb. It's an atomic bomb. It's fine. I mean, they're both you know names for pretty much the exact. Well, they are just names for the same thing. Although I think, I think, uh, I think an atomic bomb is like an, just an older name for it. That's what like they they used to call them back in sort of the. Uh, the well, I mean, the, I mean the the World War Two days, I guess, and like Manhattan Project stuff, like that. But I think uh, I think a nuclear bomb is a, a better descriptor of what's going on, uh, and I think it's the, the name it's used. But I think they are the exact same thing, right? It's the exact same thing. It's a hydrogen bomb, also. It's just another name for the exact same thing. I mean, maybe that also describes more stuff, but um, but who knows? Um, so well, I mean, a lot of people know, I'm sure. So yeah, there you go. Well, we can't really move too far away from here, uh, which is, I mean, too bad. But uh, Hiroshima is right over here. And, um, oh, wow, look at that. It kind of looks like Manhattan. That's interesting. There you go, Hiroshima. Shaped like Manhattan. Sort of. To, to someone who doesn't live in Manhattan, it is. I mean, look at that. We got, like... You know, the, we got like the East River, and uh, you know, the, even this, even this river right here kind of exists too, doesn't it? It's like the Bronx are over here, and we got like Brooklyn and Queens, and man, that's cool. All right, uh, where are we? We're gonna say we're there, and I don't know, right here. Make the guess. Uh, where were we really? Oh, we were up here. Okay. Oh, they. Oh, I see. Atomic bomb dome. Wonder what this building was before the blast. What was that? Uh, it's a good question and um well looking at it like this i don't think uh, i don't think the blast would have been over here it might have been but it was probably somewhere around over here if i would have to imagine uh but but you know again i have absolutely no idea 26 uh i mean sorry 62 66 very very cool indeed all right where are we now wow huh this is I mean, the, for the perspective on this picture is very bizarre because, I mean, we're in the land of giants, it appears, because 
uh like these people right here they are giants like the, if these were like real like look at uh, look, these guys are closer and they're much smaller look at this this is a giant human oh this is a beast roaming around and then uh, but yeah this picture is a very bizarre panorama thankfully we can actually move on this one and we get to look oh okay this is whoa okay not what i expected huh wow okay are we like, are we like super far north? Well, I mean, yeah, we might. I think we're super far north somewhere. This looks like, um, I mean, the kind of getup that the people who do those like South Pole expeditions wear. Not, not actually going to start. Sorry, not South Pole, Antarctica expedition. South Pole, Jesus. Uh, because yeah, they don't. The, the, those expeditions that you take a nice ship to, like this, you don't actually end up going uh, to the South Pole. But where is this? I don't know. This is interesting. I don't think it's an Alaskan cruise. Doesn't seem like it is. Picture is taken by a Ping Chen, which doesn't mean anything really. It's got abandoned boats. Feels like uh, maybe. I mean, whenever I see like big abandoned like factories like this, I think of, I think uh, I think of the USSR. So I like to think that maybe maybe we're somewhere in the former Soviet Union, perhaps somewhere like this. That could be that could be right. Look at this big machinery all the way out here. What was being made here? Who knows? But uh, there you go. That's where I'm gonna say. So we're gonna go somewhere like that. So, you know, north. Uh, could we be like around over here uh, on this? Is there anything that goes over? Is there anything that goes on over here? I don't really know. I think we're like up here or something. That'd be kind of crazy, wouldn't it? It'd be pretty neat. It, I, I don't know. I feel like. We could just say we're like in. We could just go like back to, back to over here or something like that. No, I don't want to go Svalbard. I don't want to go up here either. Um, we could go here, on this thing. Does anyone go here though? I don't know if anyone goes on this island. The uh, biggest nuclear blast that ever happened in the world happened on this island, I believe. Right? I think I think it did. The biggest nuclear bomb that was ever detonated was on this island over here. I think so. So we could be around up here. Yeah, I'm going to go with around, yeah, mm, it's a hard one. I'm going to go up around, around up there. Why not? Do I think cruise, yeah, why the hell not? Let's go, let's say, does anyone, no, no cruise ships go there. That's, that's dumb. No cruise ships go there. Maybe they go around here. There's no real big mountains there, though. There are mountains here. Should I just say we're there? I don't know. That'd be kind of crazy. Do I think a ship goes here? Sure. Let's give it a shot. Why not? A ship goes there. People explore it, maybe. Okay, no. We were on... Oh, okay. Oh, we were in that island. Okay. So it was sort of a very south expedition. Uh, for whatever reason, I was feeling was feeling uh, north. Well, I already mentioned I was feeling a former Soviet Union for whatever reason. But, you know, it doesn't really make much sense. It, you know, I didn't... It didn't really look like that. I was just sort of imagining that in my mind. In my mind. Um, Cumberland West Bay, Cumberland East Bay. Okay. South Georgia and South Sandwich Islands. It's got a great name, though. What a fantastic island. Look at that. That was really nice. Very cool. I mean, that would be a cool place to go, right? Because, like, who goes there? Not very, not many people. He's just like these ones. It's like, look at that. Hearn Island and McDonald Islands. That That's another big question. Who goes there? But, yeah, very, very neat. All right, 65 points. I couldn't have gotten more wrong. All right, well, now where are we? Okay. Woo! A waterfall. Okay, I like this. It's got a nice waterfall going on. Big old basin. I mean, I've already explained my love for waterfalls uh, a bunch of times. Said that, uh, you know, this kind of swimming hole, this looks like a fun, this is like a fun time. My God, you climb right up here, jump off. I am unbelievably down for that, as long as... Uh, okay, well, I don't know, it doesn't... Oh, we're in a different place. Oh, yeah, we're... Way, oh, my God, look at this. This is, like, the funnest place. I want to spend a day here. This looks great. Look at this. My God, I'd totally jump right into there. Oh, that'd be so much fun. There you go. That sounds like a lot of fun. All right, let's go back up here and uh, see what there is to see. Wow. Okay. So, where is this beautiful land? I have absolutely no idea. Hmm. 
Well, we can go... Oh, we're somewhere else, I think. Look at that. Are we at the top of this waterfall? Are we at the bottom? I don't even know. We're somewhere. Let's go back over here and see. Okay, no, but I want to go there. Then I want to go... Keep going forward. Oh, my God, look at this. You keep going down that way. Oh, my God, look at that. Wow. Jeez, that's pretty cool. And what if we continue? Finally, we get here. Wow, what a waterfall. And look at that big cave. Okay, where do we find this? Well, it sort of reminds me uh, of this area of the world. It sort of reminds me of uh, the, that waterfall area in Laos, but I don't think we're there. We could be in Myanmar. I wouldn't mind going with that guess. Or uh, Bangladesh. Those are the three places that I'm thinking of right now. Laos, Myanmar, or uh, Bangladesh. And I don't really know which one to go for. I think I'm going to go for... I think I'm going to go for Bangladesh on this one. Just because we don't spend very much time in Bangladesh. And... Yeah, Bangladesh, sure. Should we go with like uh, somewhere like around here, this river? Let's sure, let's make that guess. Let's try it out. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Wow, well there you go. We find ourselves actually in Kosovo. Wow, there you that is really, really cool. Kosovo. That is pretty darn awesome. Uh very, very cool. Uh indeed, that is where we are. So that is pretty pretty cool Kosovo one of those one of those places one of those uh, those countries that uh, isn't recognized by sort of all other countries I mean to be honest there there's a lot of those uh, when you if you really think about it including China you know I mean the only exception is Taiwan but uh, you know there, there's that but Taiwan itself as well by a, a staggering number of countries actually but I think, uh, you know, there's one big reason for that. Uh, but, oh, boy, I probably shouldn't be. Anyways, North and South Korea or other ones, um, yeah, I guess, yeah, all right. Uh, but Kosovo is one of them. There you go. I, I think Kosovo is one, one of those countries that has a, a very short list of countries that don't officially recognize it. Oh, no, actually, it's a pretty long list. Yeah, I sort of, uh, I remember it. It's a pretty long list of countries, actually, that don't recognize Kosovo. Eh, okay. Well, you know. A lot of stuff happened in this region, like, 25 years ago? Was it 25 years ago? Was it, ooh, was it a bit longer than that? I, I, I forget. But, uh, yeah, there you go. Kosovo, that's where we were. Awesome. 1,137. And <laughs> you can just look how terrible that challenge was. My goodness, that is incredible. 15,174. Wow. Okay. So, we were not all the way up here in Russia. We were down over here in a beautiful sandwich islands. Uh, we were in the Netherlands. We were in Rotterdam. That's one of the ones that I got right. We were also in Hiroshima. That didn't take uh, too long to figure out. Well, once I saw that building, you know, it's a very, it's like a super recognizable landmark of Hiroshima. Uh, we were not in Saudi Arabia. We were in Mauritania, which is super cool because we, like, never go there. We were in Kosovo. First time going there as well. Not in Bangladesh. And we... Well, that's it. That covers them all. Thank you so much, NY117, for this challenge. It was really, really good. And as always, I will see you guys next time. I meant to say thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys next time. But, you know, I'll see you guys next time. Aw, oh, yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody. Get on your feet, stand up, look at the screen and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed and let's get on with our lives. Oh yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Oh yeah. Have a good one. Bye.